Welcome back, welcome back if you are a returning viewer. And then, yeah, welcome if you're new. Yeah, so, man, uh, for this series, no, it's a lot of series. So, I mean, yeah, um, this series is just basically about people sharing their uh, graduation journey uh, on, on what, what was it like, uh, more, more importantly, their first graduation. Um, and that's like probably like the most great, like important graduation in, in, in your career. I'm not, I'm not, well, your high school graduation is also important, um, but this is more focusing on your first, uh, on your undergrad uh, at, at, at campus uh, graduation. So yeah, man. So just be people sharing their stories, myself included. Um, it's it's you know it's a, it's a really like emotional moment in 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 one's life because all the troubles you went through, like throughout the the, the undergrad, the like the financial issues, you know, maybe depression, you know, um, maybe you 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 registered and then you came back. I don't know. I don't know and then. It's, there's a lot of stories, man. Some people get excluded and then they come back, you know, appeal. And so there's, it's, it's a really like emotional journey to get your first um, qualification uh, on, on these different uh, campuses. So to be able to share um, one story on how you graduated, what obstacles uh, you ran through and then and how did you overcome those obstacles. And then my intention around having this series for graduation journey is also to basically um, encourage um, not only people that are going to be studying maybe during their first year, the following year or this year, but also for the people that are actually still within their degree. Man, so when you when you feel like you know you you you're not gonna make it, you now the light at the end of the tunnel you start to flicker. You know it's it's dim. You, know, you don't really see that much. Uh, you you lack the motivation. You start to feel like your even if your degree is like three years or four years, you start to feel like it's, 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 it's not doable, man, you're not coping. So hopefully by, by having this series, you actually see people that have went through what they went through and actually ma made it out um, with their qualifications, uh, especially now during COVID, it's been a, it's been a really like, tough times for everybody. You know, people were now forced to learn online, which is like the worst. Um, learning, you know, you have to adapt, and now uh, it's start to feel like psh, won't say any names. So yeah, so it, it's very difficult, man. So a lot of people who have like very um, difficult stories and how they got their graduation um, in light of what's happening now. So hopefully, um, when you watch this um, series about graduation journey, you will be one of those people who will also be inspired um, by by people that have went through hell and back to to to, to get uh, those degrees or diplomas yeah man because you know we like most of the people will only see your graduation pictures and then it, it doesn't and obviously on that day you know you got the best dress or you got the best suit and then you you bring your family or whatnot whatever like whoever you bring and then you take pictures and then congratulations i did but you know it doesn't really capture on the the journey you went through to actually get that piece of paper man and and uh, you know the transcript it's good thing they don't put the <laughs> it's good thing they don't put the transcript uh in in that certificate uh yeah my transcript i can only speak for myself maybe you guys were on the dean's medical list maybe you wish your your transcript was on the degree certificate but mine yeah it's a good thing that I don't put it there. So you just see my, my name and my qualification. You don't, you don't get to see my marks. You don't get to see my marks. Uh, yeah, unless you are the employer, then you can see my marks. But yeah, man. Um, so so this series now will just be like inviting people. I will be kick, kicking start off or kick starting the series myself. I uh, will sharing my own graduation story and, uh, uh, and how I ended up trending in South Africa while I was just trying to have a small graduation and then go home and I'd end up trending for days. So, well not for days, I was just trending, I think the following day, whatever. So I will share details around that and, and how it helped me uh, with my postgrad. Yeah, so if you enjoy, if you're somebody who's gonna be looking for motivation around how, how people overcame their struggles to get their first qualification, um, graduation journey, this is definitely one of those series you should be 
stay in tune for i mean i'm 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 really excited for for this one I'm excited for all of them but so this one is actually it's actually quite important now uh, especially for i think for everybody uh, whether you are still in, in primary school uh, maybe not primary school but if maybe high school or maybe you are also studying or maybe you're working and you think of going back to to campus to do your qualification or whatever <coughs> So this will be more like a very motivational, I and mean, I'm hoping we can we can learn from 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 what we were doing uh, within this series, and then I'm just hoping for the best, man. I'm I'm really excited. Um, so if you are keen on that type of content, then by any means uh, subscribe and then stay tuned for the for the series to to start. Thanks.